Hello all and good evening. This is Roger again, um, creator of Dungeon Crusade Groovis Games Unlimited, and it is October 21st, um, kind of early evening, and I hope everybody is doing great. You had a good Monday and an awesome weekend, and I hope you enjoyed the last four videos in the series. And please forgive me, I was trying to get back here to do this, these next few videos you're going to see, um, but it was it was just an incredibly busy weekend. But I'm very excited about these videos, and we're going to do something kind of different. Um, so, welcome. And of course, to the new subscribers, we are very happy that you're here, and we hope you like everything, this whole Dungeon Crusade universe. So, um, I've never done a video like this, and I think you guys know me. I don't script things, and I just speak from the heart. And so, tonight... Um, this actually is, is going to turn into kind of like a little bit of a background on me. Just a little bit. I'm not, I don't want to take up all your time. But just a little bit about like my gaming history and kind of what led me to do Dungeon Crusade for people. You know, I wanted to create this for fellow gamers and people and do something very innovative with what has influenced me in gaming for over 35 years. Of playing these games since I was a kid until now. I, I simply love this. I'm a musician too. I'm a guitarist. Um, but those are my two passions in life, gaming and music. I love them both. So what we're going to do tonight, um, let me start off with this. I'm going to be talking to the, my project manager tonight, the manufacturer, keeping our fingers crossed. They're going to get the sample copies out this week. They should be done with them. Um, I know they were they had a few issues they were correcting on their end, so I will keep you updated on that. Hopefully we're going to get the news that they're going to be sent out, so stay tuned for that. Um, so tonight we're going to look at, like I said in those videos, some concept art and some of the stuff we've never shown before, and I'm just going to just talk to you, just be tell you how it is and, you know, like how I came up with all these monsters and worked with these incredible artists where they injected their creativity and imagination and, and talent into this because it was very important for me to you know say well here's what I'm envisioning however please you're part of this too you know you're all part of this so please put your creativity and imagination into this inject you know your talent into this and it th everything just came out incredible so um, first thing I left a description to this video I made this video years ago, and I, I grabbed um, one of my favorite bands is Queen, ever since I grew up to now, and so I put Bohemian Rhapsody to it. But I made this a while ago, and it's kind of like all of the all of the games, not all, a good amount, through the years of what kind of led me to do Dungeon Crusade for people, and all of the games that influenced me. It was board games and console games and PC games, especially from that golden age of PC RPGs, stuff like um, Eye of the Beholder, Ultima, Might and Magic, Wizardry, um, and of course Baldur's Gate. Um, all of those from back in the day, um, you know, those really influenced me. And of course, stuff like Warhammer Quest, Dungeon Quest, one of my favorites, um, and Hero Quest and Dark Tower. So, through my mind, the way I filtered all of it, just this is really what led me to do Dungeon Crusade for everyone. So, let's get on with this so I don't waste any more of your time. So hopefully you enjoy this and it just gives me a chance to kick back and talk to you and, and show you some of this because I love seeing behind the scenes. So let's take a look at this. Um, I actually have the map of Avalon out. You know, this is the land that I, I envisioned and years and years ago I sketched all of this out. Of course, I did not paint this. The amazing Damien Mamaldi took my prototype map of of Avalon kept everything the same and of course with his incredible talent painted Avalon but I remember sketching this out guys like on my dining room table years ago very rough I mean I'm no sketch artist by any means but then I turned it into a digital map and then gave it to Damien and Damien did this and Damien was an artist on 2015's RPG of the year The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt just an incredible artist like all of these artists so I'm gonna I, br I brought this up because I'd like to show you um, all of the monsters that I created for this game that I wrote origin stories for and they're not too you know they're about the size of you know it's on their card their monster card 
and it just kind of gives you a little bit of lore of where they came from and make it more thematic for you. So when we get to some of these monsters, we'll point out from where they where they come from. Um, I grabbed this from that last video. There's um, with normal difficulty that ships with the game, you'll get 186 monster cards, 90 minion cards, 64 champion monster cards, 32 guardian monster cards. I love monsters in these games, and I know you guys have to also. So, And there's just so many monsters in this land of Avalon because I always wanted people to see something new while you're playing, you know? Run across a new monster. So, um, and believe me, for the expansion next year, we're going to go completely off the hook with all of these monsters that Freddy's going to be designing and a few other people. So there's tons more coming. Okay, so let's first look at the vampiric assassin um i envision this girl this and joseph arnold a very awesome artist um painted um well this is a sketch of it of course this is the vampiric assassin and i was real particular um about her but then again you know joseph injected his um you know creativity in it but i wanted her like in this red evening dress kind of a dagger on her leg um, her hand clutched. You can see there's kind of claws here. Well, that's a big marker. But you can see claws and then blood dripping out from her hand. And kind of like a sinister look on her face. Um, so we're, we're going to go through the phases of this. But this was the very first... One of the first monsters that we worked on for the game was the Vampiric Assassin. So we're going to look now at a more detailed um, sketch of the Vampiric Assassin. And see how Joseph added the medallion there and kind of like the scarf. Wait till you see the finished one. It looks absolutely incredible. Joseph is just an amazing artist. And there's the dagger. So let's go to the inks of it now. And this is when she was inked. Kind of like a very comic book look. We could see the dagger, the blood, um, you know, her hair. We can very even that looks very cool. And let's move on to the colors of her. So Freddie Lopez, um, the amazing Freddie Lopez, did the colors for her, and that's kind of what she looked like when she was finished. And this absolutely blew me away this was like beyond perfect for the vampiric assassin so we'll put a background to her and that's kind of what she looks like for the game and we're gonna look at her monster card now so there is um, well, let's start with this there's her monster card here is see the symbol right here the silver star okay for the champion monsters and for the minions I created normal versions of these monsters and elite versions so when you encounter all of these minions and champion monsters you're gonna look for the star if it's a silver star you're going to this is just a normal version and normal versions of all the monsters have their origin stories they wrote so we can see this vampiric assassin her origin stories in Castle Blackwood so if we come over here to the map and zoom in and zoom over there is Castle Blackwood and that was really important for me to get to draw people into the experience and you know so you know you can look at the the map of Avalon while you're playing when this comes up and see where all these monsters came from so um, and of course oh I blurred this out because I'm not going to get yelled at for spoilers so the vampiric assassin comes from um, or origin is from Castle Blackwood and it's a very cool little story but you could see I didn't want to be too short but not too long I think that this is you know, there's what, one, two, three, like six lines here. And that's like perfect to me, to get people in the mood. They're not reading too much and just, you know, doesn't draw them away from the experience. And then we're going to look at the... Now notice the, the star now is gold. And I'll give you a hint that she has this... The, I created this special ability called Fresh Blood. And this one you got to watch because it can get out of control. You definitely want to rally some heroes who have... Who are powerful in... Um, and this is mythical warfare, arcane warfare, and spiritual. So you definitely want to attack her with heroes who are strong in those warfare traits. And guess what? We're up to the 10 minute mark. We have a ton of stuff to go over. I'm going to stop this, come back, and let's finish up. And we're going to look at another monster. And please let me know how you like this series. Do you want to see more stuff like behind the scenes? Um, let me know and we'll, I'll do some more for you. I love talking to you guys about the game. So I'll just talk to you in a few.